George Russell is meant to be the future of the Mercedes F1 team. After a three-year apprenticeship at the Williams F1 team, his ascension to Mercedes to replace Valtteri Bottas was seen as the Silver Arrows preparing for a future after Lewis Hamilton, whenever that may have happened. That future is going to be next season, and George Russell needs to be ready to step into some very big shoes. However, what Toto Wolff said recently indicates that George Russell might be cast off before he even has a chance to prove himself. Today, I'll check out the crazy statement that Toto Wolff has made which could mean the end of George Russell's Mercedes career, so don't go anywhere. Max Verstappen has had a pretty comfortable life at Red Bull in recent seasons. His team have been able to provide a car which was unbeatable in his hands. Last year, he put in statistically the most dominant single-season performance in F1 history, winning 19 of 22 races on his way to the Drivers' Championship and single-handedly winning the Constructors' Championship. However, this season, things have not gone to plan. The Horny Horner scandal rocked the Red Bull boat at the start of the season, and since then, things have not steadied. First off, Adrian Newey left the team, taking with him decades of experience of creating winning F1 cars. Then, Verstappen refused to confirm that he would see out the rest of his contract at the team as a feud between his father, Jos Verstappen, and Christian Horner raged in the background. While he did eventually confirm he would remain with Red Bull for 2025, he's hardly been happy with the team, and there is nothing to say that he won't make a move elsewhere for the new 2026 regulations. Perhaps it is Nui's exit that has had the biggest impact on the team, though. Verstappen has recently said that he cannot rule out the impact Adrian Newey's departure has had on Red Bull's dramatic drop in form. Red Bull and Verstappen won seven of the first ten races of the season, but have failed to win any of the five events since the Spanish Grand Prix, with the RB20 overhauled as the fastest car by McLaren's MCL38. When asked if the drop in form of the RB20 had anything to do with Newey's exit, Verstappen was unable to totally dismiss the theory. Normally not, said Verstappen, speaking to the media ahead of this weekend's Italian Grand Prix. It is just since he announced that he was leaving, it has been more difficult. It shouldn't matter if someone is, say, leaving on the spot, and so immediately the performance drops because the car has always been the same. So yeah, normally it wouldn't have an impact. It is impossible for Nui's impact to not have had an impact on the team, but it's impossible to say if that impact is to blame for the current drop in form. An F1 team is just too big an entity to definitively know the impact of one person on their performance. But what does all this have to do with George Russell? Well, with Verstappen unsettled at Red Bull and their dominance of F1 appearing to wane, the Mercedes boss Toto Wolff has been doing everything he can to try and get Verstappen out of Red Bull. At the Dutch Grand Prix, Wolff revealed that he had talks over the summer with Verstappen's management team, including his father Jos and manager Raymond Vermeulen, over Max's future. However, the two parties came to the conclusion that Verstappen would not be joining Mercedes for the 2025 season. I thought all through the year that there was a window or that there was a possibility. It wasn't zero, Wolf explained. It's pretty bumpy ground there still, and not only for performance reasons, but also because of interpersonal issues that we're all aware of. By the way, I got on with Jos for all my life, but maybe because we're a bit similar, and that's why I thought the door was never completely closed. What were the odds of that happening? Maybe there were 10 to 1, 9 to 1. Still, I don't want to give up. But then we together came to the conclusion over the summer that we shouldn't be waiting for something to happen before committing for 2025. But let's just continue our job, Max at Red Bull and here at Mercedes taking our own driver decisions. Mercedes still have a seat free for next season. While Andrea Kimi Antonelli is now all but guaranteed to take that seat for next year, Mercedes had, and still do have, the option of leaving him in F2 for another year. The important factor in Mercedes' pursuit of Verstappen, though, is George Russell's contract. George's current contract will run out at the end of the 2025 season. If Mercedes had been able to convince Verstappen to join the team for 2025, then Mercedes could have let George go at the end of the season and promoted Antonelli in his place. While Wolf did say that he would like Russell and Antonelli to be his lineup for 2026 and beyond, he wasn't shutting the door on Verstappen. Hopefully, that's going to be the lineup for 2026 and beyond, but that doesn't close the door on Max being with us in 26 or beyond because we want to still keep all the options open in the same way he does. 
This is far from the first time that Wolf has said he wants Max on the team, and with Antonelli being heralded as the next big thing by Mercedes, Russell would be the one to go, especially with his contract up at the end of next season. Before this weekend's Grand Prix, Toto again said that he's still in conversation with Max over a drive at Mercedes. With the chances of him joining the team for next season now appearing to be zero though, any future for Max at Mercedes would mean a seat from 2026 onwards, perfectly coinciding with George Russell's contract coming to an end. In an interview with the BBC on Thursday, Wolf was asked whether Verstappen could join Mercedes for 2026 and said, Much too early. For the benefit of our drivers next year, I don't want to have any conversations about 2026 or beyond, because we very much hope that the 2025 lineup will be the lineup going forward. And asked whether he and Verstappen had agreed to revisit their talks, he said, We've not given each other any, let's say, timings. It's more like keep the communication channel open. While knowing that his priority is to make it function with Red Bull, and our priority will be to make it function with the two drivers we have. Toto's continued talk about wanting Verstappen on the team is sending the message to Russell that he is replaceable. Unless George can prove that he is a driver to replace Hamilton long term, Toto won't give up on Verstappen, and from what the Red Bull team are saying, Max could be eager to leave as well. Tensions between Jos Verstappen and Red Bull boss Christian Horner have rarely been far away this season, with the father of the three-time F1 world champion having called for Horner's job at the season opener in Bahrain. After Lando Norris's dominant win at the Dutch Grand Prix, a race that Max has dominated for the past three years, Jos firmly pointed the finger at Horner and told him it was time to sort his team out. You can't sugarcoat it anymore. The situation is serious, Jos said. Max won't be happy with a car like this. Now it's up to Horner to get the team back on track. Jos is believed to have a lot of influence over the decisions Max makes. He has supported his son throughout his racing career, and the two are very close. If Toto wanted a route to get Max out of Red Bull, Jos would be an easy way in. It isn't just Jos's dislike of Christian Horner that would help Toto, though. The two are good friends, and according to Helmut Marko, Jos Verstappen, I think, is a bigger fan of Toto than he is of Christian. While Max may be tied to Red Bull for next season now, multiple Red Bull team members have confirmed that he could break his contract if he wanted to. Horner has admitted performance clauses could play a role in deciding whether the 26-year-old sees out the full duration of a contract that runs until the end of 2028. While Red Bull's dominance under the current regulations appears to have come to a sudden halt, the introduction of new regulations in 2026 has the potential to significantly shuffle the pecking order. Interestingly, in this situation, Max could see how the Red Bull engine is shaping up, and Toto Wolff could also offer him the Mercedes performance to look at as well, so that he can pick the best engine to drive with from 2026 onwards. Asked why he thinks Jos Verstappen is interested in exploring options for his son away from Red Bull, Marco added, Every contract with a top Formula 1 driver has exit clauses, which are mainly based on performance. In 2026, new rules are coming, so nobody knows at the moment who will have a competitive engine. Of course, what happened in 2014, when all of a sudden, the engine we used was at least 50 horsepower or more behind and was not reliable, so you really don't know what will happen. With Wolf keen to continue trying to force Verstappen out of Red Bull and into a Mercedes as soon as possible, and Andrea Kimi Antonelli being showered with praise by the team, George Russell is in a precarious position. With his contract running out at the end of next year, he looks like a toy which will soon be cast aside unless he can prove himself to be on Verstappen's level. Do you think he can do it, or has Toto Wolf already decided that he'll be replaced with Verstappen? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and until next time, drive safe and bye for now.